Okay, Steve. Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa Lord, a local mosaic artist and a really big dreamer. I won the art lottery in 2016. The Montana Arts Council accepted my proposal for a mosaic installation at the new University of Montana, Missoula. Much to my surprise, I was asked to create a glass mosaic art mural on a 25-foot concrete retaining wall on the exterior of the building, a billboard. My vision was to bring the river onto the land, giving us an opportunity to speak to the water face to face. I made a deal with the water. My friends at Western Glass allowed me to the use of their huge cutting table, and I just climbed right up on top of it. I challenged myself to hand cut a 10 foot sheet of mirror because that's the largest one they had. And zippity doo da, the long waves emerged. It wasn't that easy. <laughs> the 39 organic shapes, six to 10 feet long, relaxed as they were chauffeured to Missoula on a Thermarest mattress. Shout out to Thermarest. <laughs> Not one broke. In June, when the weather broke, I began installing the outline. I had no real plan, I just kind of winged it. I just used what I had, taping them up on the wall and moving them around, and magically, I created a flow. And there's some beautiful reflection of the trees. I added 33 spirals, which are incredibly tedious. They created cadence, energy, movement, they are the eyes looking out at you. I continue to be fascinated by the mirror and its capacity to reflect light, and in this case, clouds. And that's about the time when the wind picked up. Whoops, there goes another one, what became my theme song as I scampered up and down the scaffolding quick as I could, only to turn around and search for another piece. I lost countless pieces and sheets of glass to the wind. I learned how to tarp in the scaffolding after a week. The heat got turned up to over 100 degrees, and I began to arrive at 6 a.m. and work till 10. I got sunburned, dehydrated. I ate so much watermelon, I turned pink. I was trapped inside a tarp taut sauna, and I loved it. My tail wagged so hard, I spun in a circle. Mosaic art is essentially taking something whole and fragmenting it. Here I was trying to convey the ideas, colors merge, as things drop into the water, how they eventually blend, and the idea of dilution. This is a great example of how fun it is when you decide to rip out an entire section because you're just not feeling it. I couldn't stand that little part at the bottom. You just, <laughs> or it annoys you, which is what happened with that. I changed the entire section because I had enough time. In July, while the Lolo fires burned hot and the smoke was intense, I returned to find that the building and the art had been vandalized. The vandals broke three long pieces with rocks, burst my bubble, ran off of my creative courage. You jerks. Uh, it really was an interesting moment. I began to worry instead of create. So I took a walk along the Clark's Fork River, which was right behind me, and in the smoke and the heat, with fear in my heart, I threw my head back and shouted, is there anybody listening? Because I need a sign, and I need one right now. And when I opened my eyes, there it was, shining bright, a brilliant, giant rainbow, my sign. I had chills run down my spine and my ears tingled and a feeling of relief crept in. Because thank you, I really needed that. And so I began anew, a little less innocent and more determined than ever. I made templates and recut all the glass. I thanked the vandals because I didn't like that one piece anyway. I kept singing to the wall and whistling while I worked. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Calmly, hard to believe, I finished the mural, as there always is a beginning, a middle, and an end. And although I was pleased with the art, I had a message that I still needed to deliver. That's a fun 
<laughs> it's a little low. <laughs> All right, it was not an easy project. Or a summer. I had to persevere and be stronger than I ever thought. I reconciled myself back into gratitude many, many times, reminding myself of the amazing opportunity that I had been given. And that's the low, low fires in the background on the right. I learned that I trusted myself to keep going no matter what. I learned that I had creativity inside of me that I didn't know I had. I was reminded that when you really need a sign, one shows up. Dreams aren't always perfect, but they do come true. But that's for you to decide. And in the end, I spent 88 days working an entire summer. That was my home. Building a love story to the water, for the water. Infinite potential. Anything can happen, so you have to think big. But here's, a, here's the gift of what the water wanted to say. My friends, be kind to the water, every precious drop. Because remember, your actions affect everyone. Be grateful, for without clean water, we are doomed. And time is ticking, and the need for change is now. Ah. And if you were waiting for a sign, this is it. I um, have a new project coming up. This, excuse me, this building is at 1205 East Broadway in Missoula. It's in the back side of the building. In the same building, I did, was also invited to do three additional murals on the top floor of that building by the dean, a bonus. I'll be working on an installation here in Bozeman at the Bogart Pool this summer. Thank you.